You'll get to love the designer. Um, you only use fuel for wood now, not crafting. Unless you make a wooden weapon. No, okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's, that is a change from the way it used to be. Whenever you were cooking food, it made sense really when you think about it that you were also cooking. Um, rituals, no, we want to go down to cook. Well, one more turn there. I suppose we can let it happen. And uh, one more turn here. We won't worry about that fuel. If, uh, if that isn't such a, a problem for us, then I'm fine with it. Now, I would like to allow cooked foods very much. We're now at 10% extra hit points as well. This is quite nice. Uh, all right. So, is there a way that we could... I mean, I could turn off raw foods. Do these give me massive amounts of, of morale? I wonder. Let's go and have a look at the individuals. Um, is there any way of checking their morale in here? Wits, mor there we are, 26. Morale, um, how well does the character feel? Their level of approval and attitude towards everything around them. Morale replenishes sanity and directly depends on food variety. Each food type increases morale by one per turn until it reaches 10 times the carried food types, capped at 100. Ah, okay, nice. That's actually pretty cool. So you can build up over time and then just go out with very minor amounts of food, but maybe it just decreases slowly. We'll see, we'll see. We'll give one more turn. Go. While wandering through the world of Thea, you will encounter research artifacts. These are sometimes required after winning challenges and can be found in the ground. Camping nearby a terrain artifact allows you to gather it. Once gathering is complete, a resource will appear in that spot. A gathered artifact does not appear in your inventory. Instead, you can find it on the research screen, where you can assign people to carry out research work. Terrain and creature artifacts unlock new lore entries in the Theopedia. Oh, that's such a pretty cool. But there we are. Got a bunch more food. I think that's where we're going to break camp, though. Now, let's uh, just have a quick gander at our expedition. Now, yeah, people are still fairly high with... Oh, really? Could you please use cooked food? I may allow you to just use all the, the fuel for now. But we've got a reasonable amount of food there. Uh, we've got food for seven days, and that's not touching any of the current food that we've got. Just stashed there, so that's pretty cool. Now, how is your morale? It is going down. Um, it's going down reasonably fast, actually. But that's okay. Uh, it's capped at 10 times the uh, different uh, amount of different foods we've got. Okay. Uh, we could go and uh, grab some meat. We could head off and grab some metal. Um, where do we want to go? I'm going to head down in this direction. Let's uh, explore the coastline. So, oh, that's quite expensive to do. Oh well, maybe, oh, there we go. Up on hills we'll get a bit of a better view. You walk through the forest and realize that the shrubbery beneath your feet is in turmoil as if it was alive. Um, trample whatever is, no, tread carefully and stay vigilant. You take a few measured steps and see various small creatures rumbling about in the shrubbery, clearly trying to make a lot of noise. Um, sure, I'll talk to animals. Oh crap, they saw us! Um, uh, we're in trouble. Yes, trouble. Squirrel trouble. Squirrel? Really? Yeah, nasty things. They eat mushrooms and pine cones and acorns. Yeah, uh... <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> you need to get rid of some squirrels for you. I agree. The creatures point you to where the evil squirrels live. Oh god, they're evil squirrels. I feel I feel completely okay with this now. Um, they're probably grey squirrels. Bloody evil grey squirrels. The way leads through an ever darker grove with tall, dry pine trees towering above an eerie air of uh, towering above and an eerie air of stillness broken suddenly by a loud crunch. Duck down. You duck out of the way and see that you are about to be bombarded with blueberry juice bombs, spiderweb balls, and honey darts. It would have made a right mess of your clothes. You hear snickering from the shrubbery. But you also find a gift with a hands for playing. <laughs> you know what? I, that's fine. I've got iron jewelry. Marvelous. Marvelous. A small decorative item worn for personal adornment, often a symbol of cultural status. This one gives hurry up skill, which we can use in all types of challenges uh, with a 1.1 second. Uh, no, actually, I think that the. Brings it down by 1.1 seconds. Decrease the delay of a selected ally. Yeah. It'll decrease the delay of a character on the battlefield so they will act faster. That's actually pretty cool. 
Very nice. Target selected ally. Trigger instant. I wonder if you can only use it once since it doesn't have a cooldown. Uh, this one has an effect, a shiny, that gives the feeling of lightness to items you carry in your back. Uh, backpack. Increases personal carry load. Nice. Okay. I accept. You got some research points for that as well. Uh, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and equip that straight away. I would like the uh, carry limit. You've got 450. Who else can carry a lot? 275, 450, 275. I mean, I could give it to the children. That might actually be helpful, but um, for the time being. Well, honestly, yeah, probably the children. Well, maybe you. You've got a lot of stuff that you're carrying. Sure, I'll give you that for now. There you go, 337. Uh, on face, thank you so much for the resubscription. 28 months in a row, my lord. Thank you so much. Uh, and the hurry up skill. You know what? I may give this to one of the children. Yes. Oh, no, you can't. You can't wear jewelry. Damn it. Okay. Uh, then, well, you're already going to have a ball. Um, actually, I'm going to give it to you. Sure. You can have that skill. There we are. If we look over here, we should be able to see the skills they got. Um, they've got innate skills. They've got from equipment, um, effects, poor morale. Oh no. I need to drink. This character's morale is not too great. Oh. Okay. Why is that? I mean, I'm getting one shielding, so... Maybe that's the, the, the one level of morale that we've got, and it's just considered generally low. Uh, but you've also got Lucky Sod. This character has a special talent for finding things. Be it loot or trouble. Okay. Uh, trash attack. Scavengers are good at gathering stuff. But if needed, they can toss it at the enemy. too. And weakness. Weakness uh, weakens its opponent after attacking. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, we've got tags. Uh, we can add in notes. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look at the other characters. So, uh, parry adds extra shielding. Brute force, the most basic form of attack. Battle Lord is a good strategy, is possible only if warriors follow the orders of their commander. Uh, very well. Weapon, standard weapon skill. Uh, you've got good luck as well, because I believe... Uh, no, you're a gatherer, I think. Master Gatherer, this character specializes in gathering. Uh, very well. Uh, armor, standard armor skill. Okay. No, oh, cool. I like it. But we've got a little town over here with coal. We've also got uh, silver down there as well. Uh, also, some bones as well. We might move in there, gather some of the, the food. I don't think we can gather silver just yet, but perhaps we can speak with these. We'll have to see. But if we click over here, um, click to open the season wheel, uh, show the number of turns. There we go. Gathering grants a 0.5 XP each turn. Possible weather conditions. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So I guess each season has different uh, weather types. I wonder if after every turn, we can just camp. I mean, there's no reason not to here. If I can manage to get some extra wood, I may as well. And if I can, as long as I can do it in one turn, I might as well try. We've got plenty of, uh, of vegetables, so sure. Can we get this in one turn? Yes, we can. Just. Very well. Go for it. Spend the night. There we go. There we are. Excellent. Right, we can break camp immediately. And let's... Uh, it'll take me two there, three down. And we'll go across by two. Okay, can we interact in some capacity? Uh, we can go in. You best move along. You're no friends of ours. You see armed folk gathering. Uh, no, we don't want a level five attack. That would be awful. It's from one to five. Leave. So that you mean them no harm. All you want is to talk and visit. I mean, maybe later, but we'll leave. So now. That's fine. Uh, it's cool to see how to interact with them, though. And with that, I wonder, can I gather the coal that they're working on? I'm going to be super cheeky. I can. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, a rather weird kind of rock. Quite useless for crafting, but at least it burns well. Ah, uh, sure. I'll... Uh, though... Honestly, there isn't any point because we're not going to gather in one turn and I'm going to be moving on in one turn. So let's go ahead and set up this. And since I'm doing this so much, I am actually going to make it a favorite. There we go. So let's go with that. And let's get our best peeps working on it for us. There we go. May as well make a little bit of extra food. There 
I know the 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 audio weirdness is kind of uh, jarring, but it's fine. I think in general. All right, let's uh, break that and start heading down. Now we've got some silver over here. We've got some shadow bones, some sandstone. We've got a decent amount of materials over there that I do actually want to get. Oh my lord! What are these? Uh, I've got fish down there. I guess these are some sort of ruin. I'm certainly interested. Well, we can't go anywhere else, so let's camp. Bone quite requires quite a lot to gather. Uh, it'll be interesting to for science this and see whether this will carry over. I'm not going to be able to do much, but we'll try. There we go. One turn. Now, let's break camp. We'll see where we were with this. Um, uh, sorry, gathering. We're almost there. So, if we break camp now, and then move down to here, we can spend a few turns just gathering some gear, some meat specifically, and bones. Uh, so, let's go in and just see. No, it didn't carry over. That's a bit of a shame, but eh, it's not terrible. Three turns, two turns. Let's give you four turns. Let's give you a little bit faster. Two turns. Can we get you a little bit faster? No. Hmm. Well, let's swap you guys around. Two turns there. Uh, it's going to be... Redonculus down here now, though. Uh, okay, let's get you down there. Two turns. Okay, well, one way or t'other. We're not really going to be getting through that one. Well, that's generally fine. We'll just spend a couple of turns gathering these items. Three turns, specifically. It's going to be nightfall soon. Oh, level up. There we go. You really loved watching me play Thea 1. Oh, thank you very much, the wolf pack. I'm glad you enjoyed it. One of your characters has gained enough experience to level up. Click on the character icon in the notification area to improve their abilities. Oh, thank you very much, Long Half. Hello, friend. Thanks for all the fun and all the games that you have introduced me to. Also, thanks for making me better at Rimworld. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Thank you so much for the nine months of being a subscriber. That is incredibly, incredibly appreciated. Thank you. All right, level up. I'll alternate between bonuses to character stats and skills. Select the desired attribute for each character and press confirm. You will not be able to roll back your choices. Okay. Uh, if you'd like to settle down and build a village, first set up a camp, then open the crafting screen and create an idol. Building an idol requires rare material called cosmic seed. You have received one from Theodore at the beginning, but use it wisely. Once your village is constructed, you can't simply demolish it to move it elsewhere. Okay. Uh, the bonus is granted by the idol depend on what materials we use for its construction. Once the idol is ready, you'll be able to construct other buildings, provided you have the researched, uh, researched them first. Now, ideally I would like an area where I was getting food. I mean, we could do this one, and we might even be able to get plenty of silver there, but uh, I probably want to gather some materials together so that we can make the idol out of something nice. To start with. And thank you very much, Jaxa, over 27 months. 27 months of Prime. Boom! Just stopped in at work to uh, drop in to wish you and the Dapplings well before getting back to work. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at work, mate. Okay. Well, let's take this level up then. So, pick one attribute for each character. Well, only one person has it. Uh, Gnome Child is moving up to level 2. I could increase your wits to find how quickly the character can act during a challenge. Increase of wisdom, secondary mental attribute effects. Luck. Oh, can I have a look at you first? You are already pretty wise. I mean, wits would not be bad. Plus two wits. Uh, I'm going to go for plus two wits. Dunk. There you go. All right. Well, we're going to pass one more turn. Gather some items. You spot a spider's nest nearby. It looks very busy, and you think you saw the creatures carrying large cocoons inside. Oh, we're going to definitely attack. It's only a one... one uh, Level attack. We've got two spiderlings against our entire group. Begin! Start with playing cards from your hand to the battlefield. Here's how you do it. Donk, and you place it down like so. Okay. You've just started a card minigame. Each round consists of eight preparation phases and two fight phases to win eliminate all of your enemy's cards. During the preparation phases, players take turns to play the ca their cards. Um, so, the enemy got to place something down and all of its cards get no extra delay the later you play your card the longer the delay on that card actually getting to act because it gets this delay added to the normal turn delay 
Uh, to play a card, you need to pay it its casting cost. We've started with two. Or oh, rather, we got two there, and they got one there. Each card may have one or more action skills available. Pick one. When you run out of action points, click End Turn. You will receive more action points after your opponent ends their turn. When all preparation phases end, fight phase begins. Q on the right-hand side of the screen shows the order of actions. The cards with the lowest delay are at the top and will act first. The outcome of the fight phase will decide if another round is needed. The challenge will last for as long as both players have cards to play during the preparation phase. Now, one thing to note in Thea 2 is a card can act twice. That's right. So first up, let's get you with your weapon attack. Or I could go with poison dagger. What? What? Where am I? I got poison daggers. How marvelous. I approve. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, jump down. We'll automatically uh, attack. But that is a long delay there. An awfully long delay. But fine. Let's go on down. We'll attack whoever's behind. I could wait, though. I could wait. Maybe. Mm. Let's have a look. Uh, what skill have you... You've got, a, you've got some double toss. Range attack that hits up the two targets. Mm, I like it. Uh, multiple ranged. I could pop you down. Um, you haven't got much health though, but uh, sure. I'm gonna pop you here. You're a little bit out of the way. You're on the on the ranged rank, so you shouldn't get walloped. Now I could play this one, but its cost has now gone up. Hey, yo, Shelab, how are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, right. Now, you've actually got a uh, splash damage weapon, which is pretty cool. Poison, if the target has less than maximum hit points, damage is times 1.25. Um, the thing is, you're going to do a load of damage, so I kind of want someone with a decent shield in front of you. In fact, your shield would absorb all of the damage. You've also got a uh, ranged weapon, which isn't exactly ideal. Um... Uh, oh, I'm going to place you down. There we go. And that's end my turn. Now, where's the enemy going to place his? Now, they have just had their delay reduced because of Zoroya's effect. So now, they're going to... Well, they've already got weapons that lacked first anyway. Um, now, this shows that this is a duplicate. Basically, this card is acting twice. Now, the thing to remember about that is that an individual card has an individual health. A duplicate is the same card, it's just doing two things. So any damage done to one of the duplicates will be applied to every other version of it. That can be a bit of a game changer. Uh, we're going to pay one point here to play you. Sure, let's get you down right there. Kadonk. Now, there was no one back there, but uh, as you can see, did five damage straight up. Uh, next up... Um, Kind of like your boar to be involved. Uh, only one copy of this character is permitted on the battlefield, so you can only have one pet, but sure, I'm going to play that. Let's get you down there. And... Did we select that right? Yes, I want the, the target to go there. So there we go, we've summoned the boar. And that boar has a piercing attack. So if we, uh, I hope we can bring it up, but no, we can't, unfortunately. And it didn't get played. Uh, I would have assumed that it was stabbed, but maybe it doesn't have that passive. But its claws will do the same as my spear. So if anything is played at these rear lines, they'll also get hurt whenever we attack. Okay. Once again, our timers are going down, which is grand to see. Now, this is a separate entity. Um... Now, who does the most damage? I wouldn't mind you getting involved, honestly. Uh, that a giant walloping axe of yours, but you're going to move so slowly. Uh, sure, go for it. Now, that will spill out, but it'll take time to do. Uh, we could have you uh, in this fight, and I could place you over here, perhaps. And sure, go for... Yeah, you'll be able to hit pretty much anyone over in that row. And we'll try and hit the first one if we can. And turn. They'll get two points. And they've decided... Ah, okay, so they are going to get a bit of a splash there, which is quite nice. Our boar's going to act stupid fast, which is grand. But Now, I can't afford to play anything. 
because everything costs two points. So unfortunately, I've just got this wasted point there. I should have planned that out a little bit better, but uh, there's not much I can do about it now. Okay, so the children and the boar are going to act first. Now, if they attack this one with a poison attack, then that's going to be great. There we go. Ball went first. There we are. Ah, went for the wrong one. That was a bit of a shame, but oh well. All right. A little bit of damage. Against the boar. I don't believe the boar can actually die. And, ooh. A bit nasty, but okay. There we go. They are almost dead. Now we can select the target for our attack. Uh, I don't want to go there. We'll do four damage. So let's just go here and kill them. There we go. And that's two enemies taken out. Then a wallop load of damage there. And that ends them. There we go. All right, you destroy the nest. And inside, you find less fortunate folk trapped in cocoons. It's unlikely any of them will still uh, are still alive. But it's worth checking. Uh, okay. Check the cocoons, gather what you can, and leave. Uh, lost four health, lost two health, but we'll regenerate. We got some meat, and we got some blood bone. Okay. Check the cocoons. We found a bone wand. A decent little weapon attack there. Standard weapon skill. Uh, a thin stick said to have magical properties. Attacks at a distance, but requires both hands. Okay. Uh, we've got another bone wand. A uh, little bit worse, but not terribly. We've got some monster bone, durable and impressive. Trophies from slain monsters are used both as ornament and crafting. But we have got a new trained wild boar. How marvelous is that? Seriously. Uh, pets can't die, as far as I know. It's much harder to lose characters in this game compared to the one. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a party of war boars. This is marvelous, if you ask me. Uh, right, let's get in there. Oh, it's it's wind. Increases sea movement points by two. Characters lose one sanity and two faith each turn. Well, plop. That is not as good. Not nearly as good. Okay. Uh, let's check out the children with their wands. Uh, these better. Hmm. No, this isn't any better realistically. Uh, so that's fine. What about this one? That one is a little bit better. So sure, we'll upgrade your wand. As for you, I mean, you've got an amber club. Which will allow you to just wallop people. <laughs> I love, I love the, the fact that uh, Z Wolf here just, you know, has poison throwing daggers. Because. A uh, child growing up. This child will grow into an adult once the counter reaches zero. It's currently at 25. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, but this does require two hands. Yeah. I could give you a pet. But honestly, I kind of like your abilities as they are. And the ball will add increased movement points as well. Um, Takarot has got one. You know what? I'm going to give both of my um, scavengers pets. You can both be ball riders. I think that makes sense to me. Uh, well, I, I was actually considering giving the pets verbal names, except that it's going to be hard, harder and harder for me to keep track if they're just called boar, and we end up with lots of them. Likewise with the crows and, and things like that, but, um... Um... I'll think about it. We'll see how many pets we get over the next couple of turns. Because if it ends up being lots, then I'll try to avoid it. Just because it'll, it'll end up being really, really crazy. I think we probably need more morale points. Um, I wish there was a way for us to easily see the, the morale in general. Morale of 20 at the moment. How well does the character feel about their approval? I mean, our morale should affect this. The maximum amount of sanity the character can have, gen generation of each sanity point, consumes two morale, up to 20% of the maximum sanity per turn. Sanity below 30% poses a risk to the character leaving the group. Well, oh, that's kind of rubbish. Not gonna lie. Not a big fan. Not even slightly. Uh, let's have a look at your gathering skills. All right. Um, I'm going to pull the children out from here. I'm actually going to draw you out as well. Uh, let's go and cook. Make sure we've got plenty of food. We're actually making some meat now, so... Um, unfortunately, we've only got this. 
Uh, we can have some rollada. Rollada is a nice chunk of meat rolled with veggies, herbs, or anything else you found and baked. Right, yo. Down with that. You can help out with that. I'll take three turns. Now! Haha! <laughs> Children! During the long night, I'd kind of like it. Oh, my lord, that's a lot. Still, we could start work. It'll take 14 turns. It'll take eight turns. Okay, that's not too bad. Children, I require that you research. Bring all of your findings back to me. I trust that you can research. Why would I trust you not to be able to research? Your minds are, are, are flexible. You can consider possibilities that the adults would just scoff at and, and ignore. But no, no, no. You will reach for the impossible and it will be grand. We, however, have some more research points to spend. Uh, hey, Abak, how are you on this day? I am doing really well, Mystic Mech. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, I'll get a fairly large amount of pets. Okay, thank you very much. And, oh, children move one square slower than adults. So by giving them a boar each, that would speed things along. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll consider that one. Abak Sweatshop Lab. Oi, Lippy, this is nothing. They don't have to. I'm imagining that they're enjoying it. My lord, I love discovering things when I was a kid. Things that I probably shouldn't have discovered, frankly. Uh, right. We could get some more foodstuffs, but I don't think we will. We could unlock silver. Apart from its qualities of metal, silver has been known to repel some night demons, especially werewolves. Definitely possible. Shadowbone, bones of creatures so tainted by the dark, a sh uh, by the dark, a shadow seeped deep into their core. Also tempting, but no, we're gonna grab silver so I can uh, start grab gathering it. Confirm. There we go. That's gonna give us some options. Um, oh, so many people have got level ups. All right, so Takarosh, what are we gonna get you then? Uh, I really do like making people act faster. That is like a huge, huge bonus for me. Um, can I have a quick look at you? You've got a wand right now. Um, how quickly a character can move. Bonus losses. Uh, I might give you a little bit more, actually, on that one. Uh, increases luck. You've got... Right now, you're mainly using a weapon attack. Um, a wand. You don't really have much to do in a combat. So... Hmm... In fact, luck rituals. I mean, you're already getting a bonus to luck. Provides a bonus to the luck attribute, but what does luck do? Uh, provides bonus to experience points and improves chance rolls in growing up events. Well, you've already grown up, but that's actually pretty cool. Oh, deal can Thaur, Shilab. Shilab is amazing. She's probably supplies. Thank you so much. He has brought me Red Bull. Uh, apparently, I'm going to have some wings. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm giving the balls to the kids, so it's only fair that, uh, that my character has wings. Uh, brought some snacks, which are basically Pringles, only not Pringles. And also, look at this shortbread. Oh, this is turning into an amazing stream. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to go with Lucky Sod. I'm going to go with Wits, sure. Um, Avak and me. Now, we're, we're a warrior, so our strength is an important stat. Destiny, secondary spiritual attribute, affects gathering, crafting, research, rituals, luck, and faith. And perception, secondary physical attribute, affects gathering, luck, and health. Hmm. Perception is only on five. Uh, Destiny... I kind of... I, I wouldn't mind getting my uh, destiny up a little bit. As the Chosen, it feels it feels fitting. Even though I'm more of a warrior than anything else. Um, for the sake of roleplay, we're going with destiny there. Z-Wolf here. Now then. Uh, mysticism. I wouldn't mind going for a bit of mysticism, yeah. But destiny again. Destined to great things, like, you know, being awesome when you grow up. Yeah, we're going to go with Destiny there. And Watcher. Ooh, intelligence. Primary mental attribute effects. Research, crafting, about that. Well, I mean, you know, you're researching, so that's an easy one. Boom! There we go. I approve. Uh, now, gathering. Has this changed things up much? 
kind of has. Uh, once we've gotten some wood. Oh my god, 462. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be a bit of a problem. All right, we're going to stick with what we've got for a turn or two. Um, actually, no, no, no. First, let's let's uh, re-equip people, uh, as I mentioned we would. So, bow and bow. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, there we go. So, uh, if we actually look over the pacifier, it'll tell us, a youngster needs protection before they can grow into an adult. They are more perceptive than younger children. So, oh, maybe they go from babies upward. That's actually pretty cool. Um, you've got four. My adults have five. So, yeah, sure. I'll give you this, and that'll give you just a little bit more speed on the map in general. That should work out quite well. Well done for spotting that, by the way. Thank you very much for the help there. Uh, you've only just gotten a bunch of meat, so I'm actually going to move you down here. Take seven turns. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, you can help out, actually, as well. So that'll take four turns now. All right. Let's have a look at anything we can craft. No. No, we need a lot more wood. A lot of wood, actually. Uh, though, that being said, we can have wood and amber. They give us gem essences. And wood essences. Uh, yeah. Gathers forage scavenger. We wouldn't be able to make the scavenger's aid. That just flat out won't happen. But we would be able to make the uh, 1.9 increased in gathering. I mean, obviously, if we had that, it would be a little bit better. But, uh, oh, well, there's not much we can do. 0.9. Yeah, so they multiply 14 of 0 0.9 or 16 of 0 0.5. Yeah, it works, I suppose. Actually, if we went for that, we'd get a little bit better. Hmm. We might just straight up make a, a wooden gathering tool. Gathering is much more efficient. It would uh, be weighty. Uh, sorry, you know, weighty. 75 there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to add the wooden gathering tool to my favourites. And uh, we'll try to make a few of them. I'd actually like a couple. Honestly, like four or five, maybe. Um, with that in mind, maybe I should really be getting people helping out with this. So we can just drive through this as fast as we can. Um, sure, we're going we're gonna to chill out for a few turns and just gather some materials. Uh, okay, so well, it's still waiting on that, but that's fine. Should get plenty of wood coming through. Uh, we, we're probably going to, you know, settle down for the whole night. Yummy, well done, and here one must have a good drink too. Now, the same way you cooked, you can also craft equipment and later buildings in your village. You can also design recipes to see how they will turn out. Uh, okay, I'll keep listening. We've just gotten some nut tincture. If it sounds suspicious, then it probably is, so consume at your own risk. Ah, uh, okay. Um, oh, and if you make special food, you need to save for something, or more likely, you gather good wood or better food, and you do not want it eaten or burnt, make sure to exclude them. You'll find a uh, looking glass in your camp. Yep, we already got that. And don't forget to spend your research points. You can see your research tree at the top corner. So, now that you have this sorted, I know of an abandoned house you can explore. Who knows what mysteries you will uncover there. Remember to check your inventory before you venture out. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, research and experience there. Where's this abandoned house you mentioned, though? Theodore? Where have you sent me off to? I don't see... Oh, no, there we are. Oh, right back there. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, there we go. We've made some noms. Are we going to make more? Uh, yeah, we may as well use up the remainder of the food there if we can. Um, we do have this as well, so I'm going to pop that in there, ready for me to, to go through and do that. Just one. And then you can... I don't know if they drop down the way they ha they did in other games, but we'll see. Among a small grouping of trees, you discover a circle of multicolored mushrooms that emit a subtle yellow glow. Going closer to investigate, of course. You come closer and feel the yellow glow surround you. For those akin to nature, the glow is pleasant. But for others, it may bring harm. When you try to step forwards, you feel a physical resistance testing your spiritual resolve. Uh, we'll attempt the trial shot. Okay. Uh, the enemy group are a bunch of uh, runes. Very well. Oh, we've got a decent amount of health. Have a look at you. Can I get more info on you? No, you do four damage. Normal damage. Um, okay, you've got three shielding as well. 
Uh, okay, so what kind of skills have I got? Not much there, not much there. Uh, you've got a decent amount. Ooh, you've got weakness, actually. It's instant. Um, overwhelm, lowers combat attributes and decreases delay of their target on the battlefield. Uh, Alright. Uh, what about you? You've got shielding and just a one regular attack. You've got two. You've got one. Hmm. It's not great, honestly. Really not great. Okay, well, let's get you in play. I'd like it there. And I could give you some shielding just to give you a little bit of a, a buff there, but... I think I'd rather get you into play as well. There we go. Okay, you're a ranged attacker and you've got poison as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay. Next up, we've got... I could shield you, which wouldn't be a bad idea in my opinion. So let's give you some shielding. Select target for skills 1 of 1 to 3. Oh! Oh, I can target 3 people? Oh, that's impressive. Uh, shielding. Targets two or more selected allies standing anywhere on the battlefield. Two plus. So I can just give the shield to everyone? What the dickens? That sounds a little bit broken. Uh, or I could play you again, because you're the really the only t attacker we've got who can do some decent damage. I kind of feel that I need to. So I'll play you there. Now this does mean that you're going to take twice as much damage, but... Oof. Okay, another targeted attack, another decently high damage one. Um, I'm going to have you play there to just try and soak up some damage wherever you can. We'll reserve you for the last round. Um, or maybe we won't. Uh, Zewolfia, you got you got to grow up someday. Sorry about this. Okay, lots of range combat there. Right, I want a shield, please. So, womp, womp. Oh. Is this the amount of effort it costs? Hmm. No, not to everyone. They are just using the plus two for everything that's over two. Okay, I see. Um, I wonder if I can apply it to the same character twice. Oh no, three. Uh, it's up to three. Mm. Yeah, let's go for this. Yeah, no, that was actually pretty good. That was genuinely good. Sorry, people. <laughs> I am a scaly bike. I really am. A little bit of a parch, but that's fine. Good. Straight down there. That'll actually be pretty solid. We, we'll take them out on the next hit. There we are. We're digging into their abilities. Oh, of course. You went You went for the, the kitty. Yes, scallywag, you. What a scoundrel, eh? Alright. We may actually win this one just because of their uh, duplicates over there. Though they're doing a lot of damage back. We'll take them out, I think, in the next battle round. Get these attacks in, please. There we go. That should be the end of you. Indeed it is. That has taken a lot of DPS off the field. Thank you. Ouch. No one has attacked that. They know the, the, the futility of attacking me. Okay. We're in. Now they're down a couple of cards. All right. Um... I would very much like you to play again with your rather potent skill there. Um, sure. Let's get you in there for the side. And end turn. Okay, you're gonna waste that attack, unfortunately, which is a damned shame. Um... I could use this, lowers the combat attribute of the attacked character delay up to two targets. 
Yeah. Delay both of them, please. There we go. We've moved them down. So we'll get the first attack. That'll take this one out of combat. You're not going to take that one out, unfortunately, but it, it should do a bit of damage. Okay, now this one's costing three at this point. I could save up and play you again, but I think instead we're going to get... Uh, let's get you in. There we go. You can attack directly up. Um, no, I want to save that last one to get an attack. Uh, to get a shield going. Okay. But yeah, shielding no longer recharges, but it lingers. Which is actually pretty potent. As you can well imagine. Now let's get a shield going. I want a shield on you, and I want a shield on mm, both of you. Let's go. There we go. Two for all of them. Uh, that is a really good ability, actually. I'm really, really pleased with that one. All right, let's see how my uh, my decisions play out. That one's down straight away. And of course, went for the youngin. But that shouldn't be a massive problem. Oh, really? Splitting your damage. Bad move. Really, really dumb. Super, super dumb. We should win the next phase without too much trouble. There we go. Perfect. There we are. Your spirit proved strong and you feel the warm glow embrace you kindly. Whatever test this may have been, you've clearly passed. There we are. Okay. Um, what? What? Okay, a ghost, your very own friendly ghost, can be summoned to aid you in spirit. Uh, is a ghost a pet? It is a pet. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, it's made out of amber. Uh, summon ghost. Alright. Uh, can I have a look at you as, as a card? Uh, or, or rather, increases the maximum faith, provides a bonus to maximum spiritual health, and increases mysticism. Yikes. Uh, spiritual blessing. The blessing of the spirit temporarily increases your mysticism and destiny. Okay. And everyone's got that for two cents, and we got a bunch of other things. That is actually pretty amazing. I like it. Let's go into uh, to here. Now. Increase maximum faith and mysticism. Who's our most most uh, faithfully of characters? Thank you very much for the resub there, Tiny Man. went 41 months in a row, my goodness. Oh, and Ike, I missed that you uh, cheered earlier on. And the little rabbit. And the lady, oh, uh, followed. And Unido cheered. I'm so bad. So bad. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, but let's have a look. So, mysticism is only two year. 3.9 there, though. Wow. I mean, I kind of want to double down on the people who've already got high mysticism. Yes. Yeah, okay. You've got cast with a friendly ghost with you. Enjoy. Uh, right. Uh, well, let's come out of there. Um, oh, got some level ups as well. Ah, now it's alternating between skills. I can increase your brute force skill. Or I can increase your gathering skill. Well, kind of know what we're going for here, don't we? Um, that'll increase it up to 6.5 increased gathering. Yes, please. Uh, hi, Kaiser. Let's have a look at you. Um, as a warrior, I'm kind of inclined to make you even stronger. Okay. Uh, only girls can become witches, though, here. And you need a minimum of form with mysticism. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go have, uh, have a look then. Maybe we should double down on that. Um, I mean, you're not going to quite give enough mysticism, are you? Is there anything else I could give that would help with that? Maybe. But I'd have to get rid of your ball. But, oh, wrong person. Still... Uh, we'll try. We'll try and get you up to full mysticism. We'll see what we can do. You can have the ball then instead. There you go. Uh, okay, so... 
with the crafting as it is, go and have a quick look. 95 now by yourself. That is glorious. Absolutely glorious. How much wood have we managed to gather? 41. How much do we need to make the gathering tool? We need 27. So, with that in mind, uh, you can stay there. I'm not sure who's going to be the best. Uh, well, actually, I should be able to check that out. Who's got the best crafting? Well, you've got two. 3.2. Okay. So it's going to be Gnome Child, unfortunately, who's also our best gatherer. Oh, yeah, that sends the beat of me, doesn't it? Uh, okay, let's get you over there crafting for now. Because this is going to make you an even better gatherer in time. Um, you may oh, wow. That's going to take a concerted effort, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, it's still working there. That's fine. All right. Let's get you helping out. It's going to take us a little while, but we'll we'll work on it. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's per item. It's going to take us quite some time. Uh, let's just make this to one. We'll just work on one for now, and then we'll work on the rest later. 